God bless you, God bless you. This is A.B. Harris. I pray you are well. Just wanted to come and share with you what the Spirit of the Lord has been speaking, speaking to me about. You know, God wants people to last whenever they surrender their life to Him. And I wanted to share something as it relates to when celebrities are converted. You know, um, a couple of years ago, probably, you know, some celebrities were converted. One of them of which was, um, I think, Kanye West. And you have to understand that when we come to Jesus, before we come to God, we were literally pagans. I'm just going to be very um, clear. We were sinners and we were pagans. Now, when a celebrity is converted, they have to know this, that the powers that once ruled them are, are, are going to still oppress them, number one. And then there are some Christians who they don't believe their conversion and they're going to have that to deal with. And, and I, want, I don't want it to sound strange or say, you know, oh, some Christians who believe their conversion, they're not happy. You remember, there's a, an apostle by the name of Paul. When he was Saul, he used to persecute the church. He used to kill them. When he was converted, they were afraid of him. They didn't even believe that he was converted. And so when Kanye West uh, declared his conversion and stuff like that, what I do is that I wait and pray for them because I really want people to serve the Lord. But you have to realize that when you're a celebrity and you're converted, God has to take you through a process. If you were a musician, I would not advise you to go and do Christian music um, immediately. I would say, you know, wait. I'm going to get to the point why I say that. Whatever industry you are serving the devil in, because entertainment industry is the devil's industry. The entertainment industry is the devil industry as what is presented. You know? It's just the reality. So, even the media, the, the media is going to keep a track on you. So, your conversion as a celebrity to Jesus Christ is going to be tested in many ways. Why I'm saying this is that what you were, that fame, that money and all of those things were the gods that you served. They were your idols. And so you have to go through a process where you have to get out of the, the spotlight. Because a lot of celebrities don't, you know, that life, you love the spotlight. And so many celebrities, when, they are, when they become converted, many of them, it seems, many of them don't really last. But you have to go through a process. When Paul, when Saul was converted to Paul, for three years he said he had to learn, and then for the next 14 years he was seeking God and he was learning the word. Saul was a Pharisee, he was learned at the, he was taught by one of the, the, the most famous and wisest Pharisee at the time, Gamaliel. And so I want to share just to encourage you because you have to realize that every tree must be planted, nurtured, and receive the, the, the right amount of nutrients to grow and to produce fruit. Yes, as a celebrity, when you're converted, it's good. Share your testimony. Use the opportunity to share your testimony. But you have to be taught. And you have to become a disciple. And you have to unlearn the, the, the religion that you are in. Because... We, we, we want it, whether we want to ignore it, or whether we want to avoid it or not, many um, and the entertainment industry is devoted to Satanism. They're serving the devil one way or other. So that religion you have to get rid of. And I want to share two scriptures with you. I'm going to expound on them so they can help you. And in Genesis 12, 1, it said, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred, from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. You are like Abraham. God is telling you to get out of that land. He's bringing you into a different place. And he's going to bring you into this place by faith. Now I want to show you Hebrews 11, 15 and 16. And he said, And truly, if they had been mindful of the country from whence they came out, 
they might have had an opportunity to return. But now they desire a better country that is an heavenly one. Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. When he was a celebrity, um, become converted. You have you, you, Your process is not different from any other Christian. The only problem is that you have a lot more pressure in your process. Because you are coming from a life where this is what you knew. And God is calling you to a life where this is what, what you knew is what you have to walk away from. And so when you become converted as a celebrity, you have to get under serious teachings. You have to learn about Jesus. Your number one friend has to become the Holy Spirit. You have to earnestly seek and speak to God. You have to walk away from all that fame and that spotlight. It is almost, you have to get out of the spotlight and allow God to process you because if you are in the spotlight, you are going to be attacked. And when you are just a babe, you are not even a, 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 a fully grown Christian. You're just a babe. You need the sincere milk of the word. You need the word. You need to be taught the word. You need to um, know the ways of God. What you have, got, what that you have walked away from is literally what was your God. It was your idol. You are used to people loving you, worshiping you, all of those stuff. What they did, what they do to celebrity, and you are used to these contracts and this money and all these things. And all these thing wasn't glorifying God. So now you come into serving Jesus and you want to glorify God. You have to know. God has to almost I'm not saying that God is going to strip you of your riches I'm not saying that but God has to God has to remove every idol in your life whatever that idol is and you have to know become rooted because the Bible says you know, the sower went out to sow and there was different ground and if you are not sown in good soil then your conversion will end up is that you will end up backsliding you have to realize that the powers that were you were serving, they are going to come against you. And you have to get into God and get an understanding of how to put on Christ. The Bible said, all if any man be in Christ is a new creature. All things have passed away, be old. All things have become new. So I'm saying to you that God, many more celebrities will be converted. But I'm saying to you that you are going to have to become a disciple of Christ. You're going to have to be a disciple. You're going to have to walk away from this life where you think you are control over everything. No, you're a servant of God. No, you have to serve God. You know, as I said, you know, share your testimony. But this thing where celebrities start expose what they were coming from, I think, they, I believe that they need to get more rooted and grounded before they start going against the powers that are them born. Let your testimony go against the powers when you share your testimony. But as you become rooted in God and become a sincere servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, build yourself up in the word. Learn prayer. Learn fasting. Learn how to truly serve God. Get discipled by true people of God. True people of God who are full of the Holy Spirit and of wisdom. So, you know, and I'm encouraging those celebrities who are converted. God bless you. Congratulations, welcome to the family of Christ. But sit under seat, sit under teachers who can teach you the word. Not those people who are gonna teach you another way. You know, you some of you who are in the industry know some of these fake pastors who are who are doing stuff and serving the false God you were serving. So my encouragement to you is that you, you need to become disciple. You have to become disciple. So your conversion doesn't become a mockery and you don't fail. Don't mind those who want you to fail and are watching to see if your fruit will last. You have to prove. Only person you have to prove to that you are serious is God. So I encourage you, when a celebrity is converted, step away from the spotlight. Go seek God. Get discipled. Learn the way of Jesus Christ so you yourself can teach others. God bless you and the Lord causes his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Shalom.